other materials we have at NIST uh, are cylinder in shape. If you think of a PVC pipe or aluminium tube or dowel, any of those things are just they're simply cylinders, okay? And cylinders, when you look at it from the end, are circles. So if we look at sketch, and we come down here and we click on circle, uh, center diameter circle is fine for what we want. There's lots of different types there, but that one will do for now. Uh, we're gonna draw, so the, the face of the cylinder is on the floor there, so when I extrude it up, it will be facing up the way. Obviously, you can choose different size if you want it to be facing different ways. If I click on that, it goes to a two-dimensional view. I'm gonna drag out. Now, we have very specific diameters of material at NIST. Uh, I'm going to go for 25 millimeter in diameter uh, aluminium tube. So I click 25 and I hit enter and that gives me a circle 25. Now, if I zoom into that a little bit, if you think of tube, tube has a hollow in the inside. So if I extruded this right now, it would be a solid cylinder. I want it to be a, a hollow cylinder. So I'm going to sketch uh, another circle on the inside of this one start there and then bring it up to about here if you want to be really accurate you could think about what the thickness of this wall would be but for the purposes of something visual I'm just gonna guess so I'm gonna keep that like that uh, stop my sketch and if I zoom into that it's now two circles on the inside if I use extrude and just click the outer ring part of that circle and then drag that up then you can see it's creating uh, a cylindrical shape now again I would need to know the size or the height uh, of the tube that I want to extrude it to let's say for example I need some aluminium tube that is 200 millimeters long I type 200 in today and I click uh, OK making sure that I have a new body here Click OK Again, if I go to bodies here, you can see I have a body. I'm going to change the name of that to uh, table leg. Maybe it was I'm making a table, and that's the leg of that table. And I hit enter, and then that gives me my uh, aluminium tube. That could also be PVC pipe. Uh, so anything tubular, that would be that. If I just want to draw something like dowel, again, I'm just going to draw a circle on the floor. Uh, we have 7mm Dell at NIST. We have lots of other diameters as well, but I'm going to go for 7mm. Uh, I'm going to stop that sketch. Wooden Dell isn't hollow, so I don't need to draw a second circle. I'm just going to click on that, drag it up. Again, let's say I wanted my dowel to be 50mm long. Click OK. We've got a, a new body here. Click OK to that. I've got body 2. I'm going to put a dowel here like that. If I want more than one dowel, I could click on this dowel here, Command C, Command V, to copy and paste, and just drag it out of the way. And I've got another one, uh, and obviously I could do that the same with my table legs as well. So anything cylindrical, very, very easy to draw with Fusion, just a circle extruded to the length that you need.